Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me for something very exciting that I think I can say is quite long overdue, but it is finally time to buy and take delivery of my first US Shmi mobile, a Shelby GT500. I've been talking about the brutish American muscle car for what now seems like ages since my first test drive over a year ago. And away we go! through to recently going out in the car with the Triple F collection as well. Which means I now have this beast to play with. But it's now time to pull the trigger, to add it to the Schmimobiles, to make a unique trio of Fords in my garage back home after plenty of adventures out here in the USA. Of course, it will join the Ford GT and the Heritage Edition Focus RS, the trio of Fords, the supercar, the hot hatch, and the muscle car, and I cannot wait. In this video, I'm gonna be taking delivery right here at the iconic collection the fabulous collection of Barry Skolnick's cars and artworks here in Miami, Florida. But first, thanks to Auto Tempest who have supported my search to find the right GT500, we need to head, filter the cars, find the right one, make the calls, get the deal done, and then we'll be taking delivery of the GT500. The plan here is to bring you through the process on Auto Tempest to find the Schmimobile and hopefully in a couple of days as part of this video to take delivery of it right here at Iconic. Now step one in the USA was to find a Hot Wheels GT500. That's been successful, but now it is time to find the car itself. Now I became familiar with Auto Tempest thanks to the Car Trek series by Freddie from Tavarish, Tyler Hoobie's Garage and Ed Vinwicky, some amazing videos, but it pulls together all of the cars that are for sale in the US and Canada all through one platform. It's been fantastically easy to find cars and there are not many GT500s, especially cars out there with the carbon fiber track pack. Let me show you quickly what we've got. Searching for Ford Mustang, Miami zip code, trim GT500 keywords track to find the carbon fiber track pack. 20, 20 years on, hopefully a car with very low mileage. Let's run the search and see what it pulls in. Cars from eBay, from different sources, cars and bids, cards.com, Carvana, whatever it may be. And you can see we've got one in green, we've got one in blue, gray, red, black, white, lots of different options. But I specifically want a very bright color. It's a Schmimobile after all. So I'm gonna select exterior colors of green and then of orange and run the search again to see what it finds and there are not gonna be many options, believe me, but when it pulls these up, we'll be choosing one of them to reach out and try and make it happen. We've got the grab a lime with the black stripes, that looks awesome, one without stripes, and a couple of the orange cars as well. But I think the top choice here is going to be this one. The others all, I think, have some mileage, but this car up in North Carolina, delivery mileage, we can add some black stripes perhaps. This looks absolutely spot on. I think we're gonna to need to give them a call and see if we can make this happen and see if that becomes the Schmimobile. The phone is ringing. Let's answer this then and see what we can find out. Hey, Jay, what's the news? Hey, Tim, I have really good news. Okay. We have accepted our offer and we now have a new Schmimobile. Excellent. How long is it going to take? It will be here in three days. Oh, that's fantastic. This is really exciting. Okay. GT500 inbound. Thank you very much. Yep. Cheers. See you later. Yes! Okay, that's it. Grab a lime, inbound, in just a moment. Jump ahead about a week and I am back at Iconic for the delivery day of the GT500. I can't wait for this. It's a beautiful afternoon. Blue skies here in Miami, albeit very, very windy at the moment. But nonetheless, the truck is about half an hour away and when it gets here, we can get the car out, which will actually be the first time I've ever seen it with my own eyes, having found the car via Auto Tempest and then having had it transported from North Carolina down here to Florida to Miami, where in a moment, I think we're gonna be seeing it. Before that though, just come over here for a moment because perched on the Icon A5, the flying contraption from the Iconic collection, we have some new items that we've added to the Cheers by Shmi150 store to coincide with the arrival of the GT500 on the channel. We have the grab a lime design with the stripes. Need to talk more about that in just a moment. We have a few different colors available. Plus we have the red, white, and blue to coincide with the upcoming GT500 Where's Shmi US edition tour. More about that a little bit later on as well. You'll find these in the store, but for now, I guess I need to give a call to the truck to find out when it's going to be here. He says speed limit 180. I wonder if the GT500 goes 180. We'll have to test that at some point. For now though, it can't be far out and then it's going to be delivery time. This is exciting then. Just outside, the trailer is arriving. 
which will contain, hopefully, a very bright green GT500 on board this. And I can't wait to get it out in just a moment. It is time then. There it is. There is the bright green GT500 ready to be unloaded. Carbon fiber track pack. We will get it out into the sunshine in just a second. I cannot wait for this. Oh, that sounds good. The first time I have heard that V8 roaring into life on my GT500. Obviously quite a tight squeeze inside the truck. And I will point out now that the first thing we're going to need to do with it as well is give it a quick rinse down. Definitely looking a bit dusty at the moment. But very shortly this is going to emerge into the sunshine. Grab a lime is a bright and bold choice. I'm very aware of that. I'm very aware that it's going to be controversial and that some people would definitely have preferred a less in-your-face colour. But I don't have a permanent Schmiermobile in the garage in bright green. And this was one of the launch colours available only on the model year 2020s. They've discontinued Grab a lime for 2021 and gone with Grab a yellow instead. So I figured it's a special colour to suit the GT500. And look at this. Big carbon fibre wing, full carbon wheels, red Brembo calipers. This is such a beast. Snake on the side. This is so cool. Shelby GT500, the new Schmiermobile. Touchdown here in Florida. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. Amazing. Like I said, quick quick rinse down from the dust over the front at the moment. And uh, stepping over the puddles on the ground from the rain earlier today. That sounds so good inside. We've got the white trim on the Recaro seats. 63 miles on the dash. Effectively delivery mileage out here in the USA. This is stupidly cool. This is stupidly cool. I found the right car. Guys, do search as well on Auto Tempest and have a look and see what you can find by way of GT350s, GT350Rs or GT500s. But I think for me, this is ticking all the boxes. We're just gonna need to give it as well some uh, extra stripes down the front, but we will get to that in the very near future. It is time then to get the car inside. Grumbling away. Oh, we've got a bit of a shadow. We're just gonna take it in for a quick hose down, make it look nice and shiny and wonderful. Obviously at the moment are waiting to get a registration, but one of the beauties of having it down here in Florida is that you can have a bit of tint on the windows and you only need a plate on the rear, so we won't have to have a plate on the front of it, which is gonna be mega. That's so cool. That's gonna look so good in the collection. I'm very happy about this. Definitely the right call for step one, to get it clean, to get it looking good, to get rid of the, uh, the dust. I guess it was parked outside before it was being loaded. And although we have fantastic weather, up in North Carolina, I guess it's probably not been the best over the last couple of days before it was transported down. But how amazing to have this now here in Miami. Getting some snow foam in the sunshine, always looking awesome. Obviously just to help with removing all of the stuff on top. We will take it through a full detail and PPF before it gets used heavily out on the roads, which of course is gonna be coming next. But first up, just to make it look wonderful for delivery day. It's now looking better, nice and clean and shiny as we need it today and sounding absolutely brutal as well. This, as I know from recently driving the car with the Triple F collection, when you're driving it hard, sounds absolutely insane. We're gonna spin it around towards the other side just quickly, out of the wash bay for the moment. Look at those carbon wheels glistening briefly in the sunshine before hiding off into the shadows. That's so cool. With the last of the afternoon sunshine, of course, I had to take some pictures of the new beast, which is looking epic parked here. I think the front end of the GT500 looks phenomenal. And I tell you one other thing about this car. It is a very similar color to another former Schmiermobile. The PTS Gelbgrün that I had on my 911 GT3, the 991.2 is a really similar color to this, the Grab a Lime. And the GT3 also had the red brake calipers. So we've got an overall pretty similar look. I'm gonna step on board and start it for the first time myself. I've got the key here, which is the same as my Ford GT's key, just with a different logo, of course, on the back of it for the Shelby as opposed to the GT. And then inside, we have those white accents on the Recaro sports bucket seat. If we fold this forward, like I said, behind, no room for any passengers back there. You can actually replace this and reinstall the seats that have been deleted for the carbon fiber track package like this. Maybe we could fit a little bit more luggage. Um, just fold the seat back very quickly to pull the lever down at the side. But let me step inside very quickly. Down here then, we have the start button, which we know is going to make a whole lot of noise. Yes, there we go. 
that sounds absolutely fantastic just letting me know that the door is open we've got the mode switch here which you press up let's go let's say sport track <laughs> this just sounds ridiculous right let's take it around to the other side just can't get over how good the GT500 sounds but it's going to be fascinating in the future when this car is in the garage with the GT8 because honestly I couldn't tell you which of the V8s is actually louder. The plan is to have it out here for maybe six months, 12 months we'll have to see and then eventually export it, import it into the UK and add it to the Schmuseum to join the other cars back home. But talking of sound and talking of engines let's come and open this up very quickly and discuss what we've got underneath the hood or under the bonnet as I would normally say back in the UK. Give that a pull where around here we've got the hood pins you have all of the cooling that you can see in the center which just makes it look mean if we press both of these you then have a secondary latch under here as well and then the heavy bonnet to lift up revealing the 2.65 litre Eaton supercharger that sits on top of the 5.2 litre V8 supercharged V8 making 760 horsepower all going through the seven speed dual clutch gearbox so very different to the GT8 which is a manual this being the dual clutch but also the rear wheels we have the sport cup two tires the stickier rubber that come with a track pack otherwise you'd have the PS4S's from Michelin instead but with that much power it does quarter miles in the tens it does the zero to 60 in the mid threes this thing is just a monster it's ludicrously ludicrously fast anyway I'm gonna shut this back down for the moment to give it a very th firm thud to make sure it's closed properly around towards the back what else do we have not too many things you can spec we've got the tech pack which gives you the reversing camera and a couple of other bits and pieces if you press down here give this an open where we've got the window sticker which is always good fun to have you can see some of my options we've got the painted black roof we've got the car cover we've got the gray car cover that comes inside here we've got the floor mats those aren't fitted yet uh, maybe I'll sort that out a little bit later on but more or less good to go looking super angry looking exactly as I hoped it would we're just going to be adding the stripes as well the over the top stripes and we'll talk more about that when the time comes to get that done and then it'll be time to head off on an adventure before we go through some of the plans ahead with the GT500 I've popped back in here at Iconic which never ceases to disappoint the most incredible display of hypercars supercars and artworks as well here in the private garage of Barry Skolnick it is a stunning collection now featuring a few new acquisitions as well. First up we have the Roof CTR3 and this is actually a car with a lot of significance to me personally because about three years ago I drove this very car at the home of Roof in Pfaffenhausen in Germany during a visit to take a test drive and here it's now part of Iconic it's been acquired to join the collection. There are a few distinct features of this car actually which really stand out. You will notice it has an exposed carbon fiber bonnet. It also has other exposed carbon parts like the headlight surrounds, the wheel arches, and many more, all of which have a very dark tint in the lacquer, which means when you stand back, it basically looks like the black paint until you get up close and study those details. It also has this split of the stripes, the red on one side and the gold on the other. And if I stand back, You'll notice all of the accents on this side are gold, from the canards to the center locks to the calipers to the accent on the door mirrors to the wing as well, even on the inside, the gold stitching of the driver's seat. But on the other side, all of those are changed to red from the stripe over the top to the red calipers and the same again, and even the red stitching on the inside. And one thing I really like is look here around the speaker in the center. You can see how the stitching color changes at the top and bottom of it as well. But alongside that, we also have a beautiful Jaguar E-Type looking immaculate. And in fact, I'm gonna quickly and delicately open this up to show you inside. Look at that. Work of art, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put this back down just for the moment into place. We will leave it like that. But one of the most iconic cars ever here in Iconic, the collection. And also, spot up there, Ferrari Monza SP2 in the black with the red stripe in front of the two LaFerraris. Now joining the other Monza in the showroom style area, just over here, the gray with the yellow. So yes, a pretty spectacular place each and every time. 
just wow. The wind here is picking up fast. I'm not gonna lie, this is about as wintry as Florida gets. It was raining this morning, it is windy now. So in a moment, we will take the car inside at Iconic where it's going to be staying overnight until we take the GT500 to go and get PPF. Absolutely obligatory for a Schmimobile to keep it looking perfect going forwards. The paintwork is immaculate at this point and obviously I want to keep it that way, especially given I intend at the moment to keep this car in the garage for the very long term, probably permanently especially after the plans I have ahead with the mileage I'm going to be doing with the memories it will no doubt build up as we go about that and talking a little bit more about it we'll take it over for PPF it's going to be getting some stripes like I said it's a GT500 I feel like it has to have stripes so I'll show you what we're going to be doing with that but then the adventure is going to begin the Where's Shmi US edition to travel effectively coast to coast now obviously I can't tell you all of the details but going from Florida up to Georgia across through Alabama Louisiana, Mississippi into Texas. Then we go from Texas up into Kansas, through Colorado, through Utah, over to California, perhaps with one or two other stops along the way to meet up with some of my good friends and other YouTubers to go to a number of different tracks and events and obviously filming many videos along the way while enjoying the GT500 across the United States of America. Don't forget as well, we have our special edition t-shirts now launched with the GT500, the grab a lime design as well as the red white and blue that coincides with this trip ahead but i'm so so pleased that this car has now arrived like i said i have talked about it for far too long it's been a a long old wait to add a gt500 to the garage the original intention was to order one to receive it last summer but then of course travel restrictions it wasn't possible to be here but now that i'm based in the us for quite a significantly long time it's on, it's GT500 time. So a big, big thanks to Auto Tempest for supporting my search for the right car. I have to be completely honest, it was amazing to use their system to hunt down through the different options out there to pick the right one, which now sits right behind me. Do search on Auto Tempest if you're looking for a car here in the USA or Canada. That's it for this time though. Thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I appreciate your support an awful lot and I'm looking forward to sharing the adventures ahead with the newest Shmimobile. That's it though, I'll see you soon. Cheers.